This is the Smart Words Reader, Rocks and Minerals, written by Judith Bauer Stamper. Page 4, Chapter 1, Earth Rocks. You can kick rocks, collect rocks, and even skip rocks across a pond. But rocks are much more than stones you find on the ground. In fact, rocks make up most of planet Earth. Huge chunks of rock make up mountains. Tiny pieces of rock make up sand. Wherever you walk, rock is somewhere between your feet. Yes, Earth really rocks. Smart words. Rock, a solid mixture that, of minerals that makes up the Earth. Mineral, a non-living, natural material that is the building block of rocks. Half Dome in Yosemite National Park in California. You already know that rocks are hard and have different shapes and sizes, but did you know that uh, they are actually made up of a combination of different things? The main ingredient in rocks is minerals. Minerals are Earth's non-living, natural materials. The types of minerals and how they combine determine what kind of rock will form. A rock is a solid mixture of minerals that makes up Earth. You can learn you can start to learn how nature mixes minerals together by looking at this rock. It is a piece of granite. Can you see the three minerals that make up granite? The pink mineral is feldspar. The gray mineral is quartz. The black mineral is mica. How did the minerals and granite get together? To find out, you, f you must first take a look inside Earth. We live on the hard, rocky outer layer of Earth. It's called the crust. On average, the crust is 20 miles thick. If you compare the Earth to an apple, the crust would be the peel. The next layer down is the mantle. The mantle is 1,800 miles thick. It's made up of minerals and rock. Temperatures are so high that the rock melts. The red-hot liquid rock is called magma. At the very center of the Earth is the core. It's mainly made of iron. The outer core is made of liquid, but the inner core is solid. Temperatures here are as hot as the sun's surface. Smart words. Crust, the outer layer of Earth. Mantle, the layer of earth under the crust. Magma, melted rock in the earth's mantle. The layers of earth work together like a giant rock factory. But how does the factory work? Where does earth get the materials to make new rocks? The answer may surprise you. The earth recycles. Crust, mantle, outer core, inner core. If you cut into the center of the earth and took out a piece, it would look like this. When you recycle an aluminum can, it gets crushed, melted, and made into a new product. Earth's rock cycle works in a similar way. The rock cycle moves materials between the layers of Earth to recycle old rock into new rock. Follow the diagram to see how this works. Rock cycle. Start here and follow the arrows. Over time, rain, ice, and wind break down huge rocks into tiny pieces called sediment. This process is called weathering. Wind and water carry the sediment away and deposit it into a new place. Layers of sediment pile on top of each other, pushing down on the older layers. Water mixes the minerals to cement the particles together, forming rock. If a rock gets pushed all the way into the mantle, it melts. It is now magma. When it escapes to Earth's surface through a volcano, it bursts out as red-hot lava. As the lava cools, a new rock forms. Weathering begins right away, continuing the rock cycle. As the bottom layers of sediment get pushed deep into the crust and upper mantle, temperatures and pressure are tremendous. They are tremendous enough to actually change one type of rock into another. Smart words. Rock cycle. Continuous changing of rock from one type to another. Sediment. Small pieces of sand, mud, pebble, and all the remains of dead plants and animals. Weathering. Wearing away of rock over time by water, wind, heat, and ice. Match each description with the correct smart word. Rock, crust, mantle, mineral, magma, rock cycle, sediment, weathering. Talk like a scientist. Tell what you know about rocks. Use your smart words from the list and give at least three facts. Smart facts. Did you know the faces of four presidents are carved into the granite rock of Mount Rushmore in South Dakota? They are George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. That's amazing! Even presidential power can't stop the forces of weathering. More than 40 years after Mount Rushmore was completed, the president's faces began to wear away. Using plaster and metal rods, workers were able to repair the damage. How big? Stone Mountain in Georgia has another incredible carving in granite. This carving of Stonewall Jackson, Robert E. Lee, and Jefferson Davis is about the size of three football fields, or three acres. Mount Rushmore in the Black Hills of South Dakota. Chapter 2. Rock Stars All rocks are grouped into three different types. 
Igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Igneous rocks from liquid fire. Rocks are from melted rock that has cooled and hardened are called igneous rocks. The word igneous means made of fire. Igneous rocks make up 90% of the earth. What an igneous rock looks like on the inside is that it, it's based on the type of lava it was made from and how fast or slow it cools. Lava is melted rock from inside the earth that reaches the surface. The faster lava cools, the smoother it will be. Some magma travels up toward the Earth's crust and never breaks through the surface. Deep within the crust, it cools very slowly. The slower it cools, the rougher the rock will be. Crystal gazing. Minerals that make up rocks are called crystals. Crystals are solid shapes with flat surfaces lined up in repeating patterns. You could tell if an igneous rock formed above ground or underground by looking at the size of its crystals. If the minerals in a rock cool quickly, the crystals do not have time to grow big. If the minerals cool slowly, the crystals have time to grow much bigger. Granite is a rough rock with big crystals. It cooled slowly under the earth's crust. Basalt is a smooth rock with tiny crystals. It cooled quickly on the surface of the earth. Smart words. Igneous rock, rock that forms when magma cools and becomes solid. Lava, melted rock from inside the earth that reaches the surface. Crystal, a solid shape with flat surfaces that line up in a repeating pattern. Sedimentary rocks, layer by layer. Often sediment that has broken off ends up in streams, ends up in streams and rivers and carry it to the ocean. Once there, the sediment drifts to the ocean floor. Over time, layers pile up to form sedimentary rocks. The size and shapes of the particles affect how the rock will look. Some sedimentary rocks look like pudding with large pieces of fruit in it. They are sometimes called pudding stones. Sedimentary rocks such as sandstone and shell have very small particles like grains of sand or dust. Do you see the layers of color in the sedimentary rock? They are formed by different kinds of sediment and minerals. Some sedimentary rocks such as limestone forms from the remains of dead organisms. Instead of rock particles, the hard parts that remained after an organism dies pile up in layers. Look at the diagram to see how limestone forms from the remains of ocean organisms. When an ocean creature dies, its soft parts either decay or are eaten. The remaining hard parts sink to the ocean floor. Layers of bones and shell pile up on top of each other. The weight of the top layers, as well as the weight of the water, presses down on the bottom layers. The pressure squeezes the bottom layers together to form sedimentary rock. Smart words. Sedimentary rock form by layers of sediment in the ground that are being pressed together. Metamorphic rocks changing form. Remember that part of the rock cycle where one rock changes into another type of rock? This isn't magic, it's science. Metamorphic rock is a rock that has changed from one form to another. In fact, the name means changed in form. Metamorphic rock forms deep beneath the Earth's surface where there is great heat and pressure. Heat, high heat and pressure can change the crystal structure of the minerals in a rock. When this happens, it changes into a different type of rock. Sometimes heat and pressure makes the minerals separate into layers. In rocks such as gneiss, they can be seen in bands of light and dark colors. These bands make it twisted and bent. Metamorphic rocks, before, after. Gneiss has bands of light and dark minerals. The bands are twisted by pressure inside the earth. Before, after. Marble has millions of pale crystals that have been tightly packed together by heat and pressure within the earth. Smart words, metamorphic rock, rock that has changed from one kind of rock to another. Use your smart words. Read each clue. Choose the smart word it describes. Igneous rock, sedimentary rock, lava, metamorphic rock, crystal. Talk like a scientist. Look at each, photograph, each of the photographs below. Tell what kind of rock it is and how you know. Smart facts. A hoodoo formation found in Bryce Canyon in Utah. What is a hoodoo? It is a tall, skinny spire that rises up from the ground. Hoodoos are made of sandstone that has been shaped by the forces of heat, ice, and rain. Some hoodoos are the size of a human. Others are as tall as a 10-story building. That's amazing! Sandstone has many practical uses. It's often used for walkway or stone walls. It's also used for different arts and crafts as it's easily carved. You may even take a drink from fine glassware made from sandstone. Did you know Navajo sandstone is a rock formation that spreads across Arizona, Colorado, and Utah. Soaring at times to 2,200 feet, it forms the main attractions at places such as Zion National Park and the Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument. 
Chapter 3, Rock Detectives. Are you ready to explore along with a rock detective? Scientists called geologists study rocks and minerals. They use clues in rocks to identify how they formed and how they changed. Bring along the words you have learned as you read what rock detectives have discovered. Why does this beach in Hawaii have black sand? This sand is made up of tiny pieces of igneous rock that have formed after a volcano erupted. Over millions of years, heat, rain, and water weathered the rock. It broke into millions of small pieces of black sediment, the black sand collected at the edge of the ocean. How did the Grand Canyon form? The Grand Canyon was carved from sedimentary rock, a canyon in a deep, narrow valley with steep sides. It took millions and millions of years for all of the layers of sediment to build up the layers of sediment. The canyon formed when a river cut its way through the soft rock. The river wore down and carried away the rock particles. The canyon became deeper and deeper. Smart words. Geologist, a scientist who studies Earth's layers of soil and rock. Canyon, a deep, narrow river valley with steep sides. Tools of the trade. How can rock detectives tell one mineral from another? One of the best ways to identify a mineral is by its hardness. Hardness means how easily a mineral can scratch something else or be scratched itself. A scientist named Friedrich Mohs developed a scale of hardness for minerals in 1812. It is called Mohs Hardness Scale. Scientists still use the scale today. Mohs Hardness Scale rates the hardness of minerals from 1 to 10. Talc is the softest mineral at number 1. A diamond is the hardest mineral at number 10. A mineral can scratch any mineral that is with a lower number than its own. Mohs hard Scale of Hardness Mineral Mysteries A rock detective can't always judge a mineral by its color. Some minerals, like ter tourmaline, can be black, brown, pink, green, or blue but they can be identified using a streak test. Streak is the color of powder left when you rub a mineral against a rough surface. Even minerals that come in different colors all leave the same color streak. How to do a streak test. Use the rough back of a white ceramic tile. Rub the mineral across the tile. Check out the color of the streak. Mineral name, tourmaline. C color of streak, white. Mineral name, black hematite. Color of streak, cherry red. Mineral name, gold. Color of streak, gold. A geode is another mineral mystery. It looks like a regular rock, but it has a surprise inside. How geodes form. Gas bubbles get trapped inside a rock and form a hole. A solution of water and mineral seeps into the hole. Slowly, the water evaporates and leaves behind mineral crystals. More water seeps in carrying different minerals. Different color minerals form inside the geode. It might look like a regular rock on the outside, but the inside of a geode is filled with beautiful crystals. Smart words. The color of powder left when a mineral is rubbed against a rough surface. Geode. A rock with a crystal lined cavity or hole. Be a rock hound. Want a hobby that rocks? Be a rock hound. Rock hounds have their own rock collections. First, collect your rocks. Look in the mountains, on a beach, or in a stream. Look in a park or in your own backyard. Rocks are everywhere. Next, display your rocks. Make a box with different sections or, and labels, or use an egg carton to hold your rocks. Then, use the pictures on the next page to identify your rocks. If you can't find them here, look in a field guide or on the internet. Look at their texture, color, and hardness as clues. Put a label on each rock with its name. Show off your rock collection. Tell people everything you know about rocks. A rock and mineral collection, granite. Quartz, obsidian, sandstone, shale, calcite, limestone, basalt, feldspar. Rock, smart words. A rock hound is a person who collects and identifies rocks and often has a rock collection. Use your smart words. Answer each question with a smart word. What? Geologist, geode, hardness, rock hound, canyon, streak. Talk like a scientist. Diamonds are known for their beauty. How would you describe a diamond to a friend who is interested in rocks and minerals? Use smart words in your answer. Smart facts. Did you know the Smithsonian Institute has one of the largest collections of rocks and minerals? There are 350,000 minerals and 10,000 gems in their National Gem and Mineral Collection. That's amazing! The, uh, crater, the crater of Diamonds State Park in Arkansas is a rock hound haven. For a small fee, visitors can keep any diamond they find. Since 1972, over 21,000 diamonds have been found. Record breaker. 
The Lyndon B. Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas has an out-of-this-world rock collection. It houses the largest collection of moon rocks brought back from the Apollo space missions. Among the Smithsonian's collection is the Hope Diamond. It is a 45.54 carat blue diamond. The end.